Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today what I'm going to show you is uh, a simple thing. It's the old wood, redwood lath and plaster. Now, what we had here was just um, like a little mountain. And, and when I was looking at it, the fellow said, well, gee, how much should we take out and can, or do we even need to, or can we just skim it? And what we had here was, it was bubbled out a little bit, and I said, you guys pounded on the wall on the opposite side of this wall. He said, yeah, we did, because we had a mirror over there, and we, uh, a vanity mirror, and we had to push it. And I said, what you did was, you made a little piece of plaster loose, and that plaster fell between this, and it bubbled this, so there was a little mountain. I said, the only way to get rid of that is live with it or tear it out with a uh, a razor knife and it'll take you about a half hour to tear this out and contain it so that's what he did and here just a little bit of a um, little bit of movement the wall is pretty solid other than that but when you pound on the opposite wall it causes vibration will cause cracking and sometimes that loose plaster will go, go behind the wood or on top of the wood and bulge this out a little bit I'll show you how we fix that quickly now there's a lot of types of mud to use, guys. I'm actually using a compound plaster. or It's mainly for taping mud. And why do we have this pink here? Well, the pink here is called plaster weld. It's made by Larson's. And you put it on the wood lath here so that it gets rid of the dust. And now our particular mud that I'm using will adhere to it. And how many muds are there? Endless. Uh, I'm using a 20-minute mud. But they also have uh, oh, Structolite, but Structolite you really can't do in a day. And most of the stuff I do, guys, is in a day. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm filling that guy up right there, and I'm just filling this up. Now, if I had five minute mud, that, that would set. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to set. And in about, oh, 10 minutes. This is 20 minute mud. Jay took 10 minutes to mix it and so we got about 10 minutes to play with it. In 10 minutes I'm going to texture this right here and match this. I'll show you how we do that too. Alright guys, back over here I gave that actually about 15 minutes and what I'll do is while the mud is still a little loose I'll come in here and get out some of the holidays make it blend in. What I want to do is I want to blend the sides in because if you blend your sides in real well that's half the job right there. Feathering in, guys, is the most important. So, we got that done, and we look at this wall here. This is a light skip trowel finish done with a pan and a big 22-inch trowel, uh, and you just pull it sideways, but I can match it with this guy here. And what I'm going to do is just take a little tiny bit off here and look at what they've got. Let me get out the way here and just pull it sideways. If I don't pull mine sideways, it's not gonna match theirs sideways. That's all we do, guys. A little bit sideways, pull it, pull it, and if you miss a little spot, you can always come back to it. There we go. Get that little piece in there. Little piece there, sideways, blam. Then how flat theirs is, I flatten mine out. Flatten it out. Nothing to it, guys. And if the mud is a little too soupy like mine is right here, I'll give it five more minutes. I'm in no hurry. Five more minutes and I come and play around with it a little bit more. But for the sake of showing you guys, that's it right there. We just give it a little skip trial finish and we match it. And remember, don't pound on the walls opposite of plaster walls. Screw everything in when you come to old wood lath. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. We thank you for watching, and as usual, Jay and I will see you on the next one.